Hey guys, welcome to my first map spotlight for Total War Warhammer. In this series I would like to show you some of the coolest custom battle maps in the game, either because of the way they play or because of the way they look. At the end of the video I would like to share my tactics and strategies on the map as well, so I hope you enjoy these short and cinematic videos. In this first episode we'll be looking at Broken Leg Gully, a cool looking land battle map. This place can be found on the east of the campaign map in the northern world edge mountains province. The area was known for its incredibly steep and treacherous cliffs, which is why it got named Broken Leg Gully. According to the lore, a big battle took place here between Ungrim Ironfist and the Greenskin Gnastrak. With the help of Ogres and his party of dwarves, Ungrim managed to defeat the Greenskins and claimed victory in his place. This particular battle is actually in the game as a quest battle for Ungrim Ironfist. He's not the only one though, as Balthazar Geld and Grimgor Ironhide also have a quest battle on this map. I've decided to pick Broken Leg Gully for this showcase because of the way it plays. It has some interesting mechanics which almost remind me of uh, Total War Arena's maps. In the middle of the map is a passage that leads straight into the enemy base. The place is a little narrow but wide enough for your army lines. Um, and then on both flanks there are cliffs with raised terrain and large forested areas. Uh, these routes also lead straight into the enemy base but there's also a flanking route in the middle uh, on both sides that leads straight to the middle of the map. Now there are multiple things you can do here in a battle. The first tactic is to deploy almost all your forces in the middle in order to take advantage of the terrain. You can drag your battle lines between the two cliffs which prevents the enemy from flanking you. Meanwhile you can use infantry to protect your rear or use cavalry to attack the enemy uh, via the cliffs. Another strategy is to make full use of the forested areas on the hills. Apart from a small portion of units in the middle, most men should be deployed on the sides of the map. In the battle you will have to make use of the woods. With this tactic you should be able to surprise your enemy on multiple uh, occasions by hiding and attacking when the time is right. Meanwhile you can use your archers on the cliff as well to rain death on any enemies that are still located in the middle. You can also try to make full use of the pathways in the middle. Deploy most of your forces in the middle but leave some of the flanks um, filled with infantry as well. Wait for the enemy to advance on you in the middle and then try to flank them from behind using the uh, path from the cliffs in the middle. By doing this correctly you will be able to successfully sandwich and crush the enemy. This map is also very well suited for a 2v2 or even a 3v3 uh, battle where each player deploys either on one of the cliffs or in the middle. Units that excel on this map are definitely artillery, missile infantry units and defensive infantry but good flying units and cavalry might also help you out uh, quite well if used correctly on the flanks. Overall, one of my favorite maps right now in multiplayer and I highly recommend you give it a try as well. I hope you enjoyed this first map spotlight and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.